Hello, all grade 11 learners out there, and welcome to this lesson on the straight line. Our end aim is to learn how to use the inclination to find the equation of a straight line. In order to do this, there are some basics we need to revise. The Cartesian plane has an x and y axis. An ordered pair is made up of an x and y value and can be plotted using the axes. The point on this graph is pinpointed by an x value of 3, as well as a y value of 4. Now that we've revised how to plot a point, let's go over the other basics of analytical geometry. The gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Remember that the gradient shows us the change in y over the change in x. A positive gradient tells us that the line is traveling upwards. A negative gradient tells us that the line is traveling downwards. The gradient is often used to find the equation of a straight line. The formula for a straight line is y is equals to mx plus c. m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. Let's move on to the distance and midpoint formulae. Distance is equals to the square root of, into brackets, x2 minus x1 squared plus, into brackets, y2 minus y1 squared. Midpoint is equals to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. We don't need the distance or midpoint formulae to find the inclination of the line, but it's good to revise them quickly. To find the inclination of a line, we need to use the gradient formula. Shortly, we will be joining Gerald and his teacher as they go through how to do this. Listen carefully to the terminology used like slope, angle of inclination, and obtuse angles. Let's join them now. When we work with straight lines on the Cartesian plane, we define the angle of inclination as the one formed between the positive x-axis and the straight line. It is measured from the positive x-axis in an anti-clockwise direction. Have a look at this example. Here's a line that has the equation y equals 3x minus 6. The line intercepts the x-axis at 2. This angle theta between the positive x-axis and the line is the angle of inclination. Can you see some way of working out how big angle theta is? I can see from the graph that it must be less than 90 degrees, but I can't be more accurate than that. Have a look at this. If I drop a perpendicular line from this point 4, 6 on the straight line down to the x-axis, I will form a right angle triangle. In this triangle, do we have some information that could help us to find the size of angle theta? That sounds more like trigonometry than coordinate geometry. You're right. It is trig. Remember that different parts of math link to each other all the time. Actually, in this triangle example, we use our knowledge of functions and algebra for the straight line. We use coordinate geometry and we use trigonometry. I like that. Let me label the triangle ABC. Now, will it help me to know these lengths, side AB and BC? Try it and see. From A to B is just two units. Then from B to C is six units. So now I guess I could use one of the trig ratios. Excellent. Here are the trig ratios. Sine, cosine, and ten of theta. Can you see which one will be useful to us? OK. If I put my finger on the angle theta, we know the length of BC, which is opposite side, and AB, which is the adjacent side. So we can use 10 of theta. BC is 6, and AB is 2. So 10 theta is 3. All we have to do now is use the inverse 10 key on the calculator, and we get angle theta is equal to 71,57 degrees. In other words, the angle of inclination of our straight line is 71,57 degrees. That went well enough. But there's also something else happening. What is the gradient of the line that passes through A and C? It is the change in the y value, which is 6 units, divided by the difference in the x values, which is 2. So that makes the gradient 3. But that's exactly what the 10 of theta was equal to. True. 
the turn of theta and the gradient of the line from A to C are exactly the same. So, if we know what the gradient of a line is, we can find the angle of inclination of that line. Can we do another one? Sure. Here's a line that joins the points 0, 3 and 3, 0. Okay. The gradient of the line PQ is 3 down, so that's negative 3. And 3 across to the right, so that's a positive 3. So that comes to a negative 1. 10 theta is negative 1. So now I can find theta. Look carefully. Which angle are you referring to on the plane? Which angle is theta? Remember that the angle of inclination is always measured from the positive x-axis in an anti-clockwise direction. So, the angle we want will be here. It looks a bit bigger than 90 degrees. How do I work that out? You're right. It's an obtuse angle. You should remember from your trigonometry work that the tan ratio is negative for an obtuse angle. It makes sense because the slope of the line is also negative. Okay, so the tan of theta is negative 1. Do I just work that out on my calculator? Well, I'll try that. I get minus 45 degrees, but this angle isn't negative. Actually, this answer isn't wrong, but let me show you what you can do to get the positive angle. We can work out what the tan theta of 1 is first. Okay, so I take the inverse of tan of 1 on my calculator and I get 45. The obtuse angle we want is 180 degrees minus 45 degrees, which is 135 degrees. So the angle of inclination is 135 degrees. And we can check this by measuring with a protractor. But having said that, do not rely on a protractor. We need to be able to do these calculations. You're right. It is 135 degrees. So if the gradient of a line is negative, that means the inclination of the line is an obtuse angle. That's it. Now we know that the inclination of a line is calculated by using tan and the gradient formula. The formula for inclination is tan theta is equals to m. Remember that m represents the gradient. And don't forget that when the gradient is negative, the angle of inclination must be an obtuse angle. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Analytical Geometry Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about analytical geometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn.